You aren't who you used to be. It's okay if you made mistakes and aren't proud of the person you once were because that's not who you are anymore. So it's time to put all of that behind you. Step into a new direction and keep moving forward. Believe me when I say that your past doesn't define you. You have a choice to wake up every day and start a new beginning. You aren't where you were last year and you aren't who you were last night. Just keep fighting to get better one day at a time. A lot of people have this fantasy of like flipping the switch and becoming a new person and never going back to being their old self. And that's what it is. It's a fantasy because the reality is you wrestle with your old self every single day. You don't just make the decision to be different once. You have to make it over and over and over and over again. You're going to have plenty of days where that old self comes knocking on your door. Those old habits come knocking at your door. Those old tendencies come knocking at your door, wanting to wedge themselves back into your life. And you have to resist and resist and resist. And sometimes you fail. Sometimes you have a moment of weakness and you end up being your old self for a moment. But as long as the next moment you choose to be better, you're going to end up fine. It's when you don't resist and you don't try to be better and you spend the entire day being a loser and you spend the entire week being a loser. That's how you stay on the hamster wheel forever and never get anywhere you want to go. If you're going to pursue success in your life, you have to decide you're going to be on a road that most people are not on. And a lot comes with taking that road. But the truth is the journey to success can be a very painful journey and you can feel very alone, and it's designed that way. And so it often bothers me when I hear people say, I need the support from my spouse or my friends, or I've got haters, or no one understands me, or I'm getting all this rejection and negative feedback from people. I've got haters. That's the road you're on. You're going to a place most people aren't going to go in their lives. And so what comes with deciding to be great is all of those things. The most helpful frame was thinking about who I was becoming as the asset that I was building. So in real time, whenever I finished a long day's work, I was becoming more like the type of person who could work for five years without reward. And that would be part of the story I would someday tell. And so some of the biggest reinforcers I've had in my life has been future casting the story that I would tell about the shitty period that I was in. Question for yourself, what is impossible. Never accept the limitations of someone else. Somebody told you that it's impossible. Don't even try. Give up before you even can try it for yourself. Never accept the goddamn limitations that someone else has placed upon you. Decide for your fucking self what is your limitation. Try it for your fucking self. Then that is the only way, the only fucking way to know if you can or can't do something. Create your own self. Most people are missing something because there's so much trapped in there. There's so much in you that, that you have not un unlocked. God, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, because it's about 75% of you is still fucking in there. Still chained up. Because you just didn't want to find your willpower. Didn't want to find your soul, your will, your heart, your determination, your guts, your courage. And what that looks like, it looks scary. This is the gap when we start. You listen to the gap as you grow. Notice how you grow and they don't. So how do you close the gap? You got to come back down. When you come back down, you lose. So you got to keep going up. That's why closing the gap got to be them catching up to you. And if they don't catch up, you gotta leave them behind. Consistency doesn't mean perfection. It doesn't mean being hard on yourself when life interferes with your idea of being perfect. Consistency is getting back on track when life throws you off and not quitting when things get hard. The definition of consistency doesn't mean flawless. It means staying on course for as long as possible knowing that falling off is almost guaranteed. Don't punish yourself for doing the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to keep going. Talent is a pursued interest. In other words, anything that you're willing to practice, you can do. I think the best way to prove your, your value is to work, is to learn, is to absorb. 
to be a sponge. Okay. So all you want to outwork your potential. You know, as hard as you believe you can work, you can work harder than that. Everything has stages of growth. Why in today's time are we forgetting? Why are we forgetting that and expecting an immediate space of perfection? It doesn't matter what challenges it is that you are facing there. It is the fundamental principle behind it that you do not run away. That you are open for everything that is being thrown at you. It is this type of mindset to also understand. I didn't ask for an easy life. I take what comes. If it leaves, I let it pass. You're exactly where you need to be in life. All the confusion and frustration you feel is part of the journey. Don't worry about being behind or never finding your place in this world. Everything is already working for you behind the scenes. All you need to do is stay open to the opportunities, let go of the outcome and stay grounded within yourself. The rest will unfold exactly how it's supposed to.